now he's talking about a more personal level. This one, uh, and, and being per, uh, alone. 但于思居独处中，见君之贪念、淫念、嫉妒念、贬极念、高级卑能念、一往昔来念、恩仇报复念，重重于胸不可及及。So now I have observed during the observation what we observe. To be fair, I'm telling you what we observe. When you live by yourself, I have saw strong emissions of your greed, the thought of greed, of lust, of jealousy, of agitation, being agitated, very rushed, of arrogance,、uh, of looking down on others, 高级卑人念，贬级念 otherwise. Maybe I need to do a research on the dictionary. But 高级卑人念 is arrogance. 贬级念 I have a little bit feeling maybe it's like very rushed, constantly.、Um, You know, not stable, not still. But I need to research. Yi wang si lai nian, like、um, non-stop thinking about the past, and always hope for the future, but never, never work on the present. So let it sink in, guys. Yi wang si lai nian. What's wrong? I'm thinking about my past, and I, I have a lot of hope for future. But we need to ask ourselves: Where do we have future? Where do we? Where do the future come from? From now. If, from now, if you want that future, where, how do you get started now? If you keep thinking about that future, how can you do anything at all? You got dwell on the future and about past. So many things happened in the past, good, bad, but it's the past, isn't it? Or things you did wrong in the past. If you don't do anything now, how can you fix it? Or how can you alleviate it? How can you improve your existence? If you keep just thinking about, oh, I did something wrong. So this goes both ways, guys. Uh, it, it, this has two layers of meaning. First layer is I keep thinking about my past. I did something wrong. I did something wrong. And then a person who want to wake you up would be, what are you going to do now? It's not not sitting there and say I did something wrong. Yeah, I did something wrong too. And then what? What's next? What do I do now that I can move on? How do I move on? And future is I hope I can have this. I have a good family. I have good. Career, I have, a, you know, I have attained Nian for Sun Name in three years. I've attained the, you know, the the level of chanting where I can see Amitabha in three years. In our case, what are you doing now? Playing games, looking at those YouTube videos nonstop. I'm talking about myself and wasting time on lust and all that thoughts. Are you going to pure land or going to hell? I mean, in the sense, are you going to? Put yourself in the deeper, deeper hole in the grave, like Mr. Yu did, or are you actually making progress towards pure land? Those are very realistic stuff, and I'm not. So that's the problem now. That's the problem now. I keep thinking about the past. I, I did wrong. I did wrong, and then did nothing about it. And think about the future. I want to have this. I want to have that. I want to be,、uh, you know,、uh, master of my destiny and all that. Then what do you do now? You are a slave to your own habits. How can you be master of your destiny? So if we have a sharp mouth, we use that against ourselves, not other people. Only then you can be a sage. Or sage means a person who understand and truly act as act as he said. So Venerable Wu Xing has shared a, a story with、uh, a phrase with me, which I cherish so treasure. From Master Qingong, he passed from Master、uh, he passed the message from Master Qingong、um, during his speech. He said that. Ordinary people do not feel anything wrong with themselves. They are fine. Uh, 闲人 which is the aspirant to be a sage, will find that they have faults. They have some faults. Some faults. They um, they are. I have something wrong here. A sage finds all sorts of wrongs with themselves every single day, every single moment, nonstop, and they they and they act on it. They and they trying to do something about it. So, you can, as you can see, a bodhisattva keeps finding a lot of errors and faults that he will need to repair. A、uh, aspirant to be a bodhisattva, not yet there, he or she will all will, will somehow find some faults in themselves, but they still think maybe、um, you know I'm not too bad. An ordinary people is the world is fine. It's all fine. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm amazing. Amazing. Okay. So anyway. So, 
So I'll leave it at that for us, right? Only when you are a Buddha, you can say that I'm truly fine. Even Bodhisattva of the one level below, like Guan Yin and all that, what represent by Guan Yin, they were Buddha already. But what they represent is one more level to Buddhahood. They keep reminding during the Pu Xian Shi Yuan, the ten vows of uh, universal worthy Bodhisattva, Pu Xian, universal good Bodhisattva. Xian means good, Pu means universal. They always think about Chan Hui Yue Zhang, Chan Hui Yue Zhang, Chan Hui Yue Zhang, a Bodhisattva of that. Elegance in cultivation and practice, you think about what have I done wrong? <laughs> what about us? <laughs> so, um, thinking about what you've done wrong is important to fix it, not just to dwell in it. The problem of in my case, I can't speak for everyone, is dwell in it or not acting on it or powerless to act against it or finding excuses not to fix it. So, a lot of us might be able to find that errors and faults. But not doing anything on it means that you're still gonna fall. There's no, there's no, no way you can get out until you actually do something about it. So, just on basic thinking about the past and hoping for the future is to be understood in this context. Only then we understand why Mister Yu cannot get out of his loop, if his hellish loop. And the last one is he always have that thought of revenge, avenge avenge uh, people, avenging people. Oh, you did wrong to me, that did wrong to me. Obviously, that, that is not the balanced mindset. You can't attain anything with that. Not even a simple career improvement, let alone a, a, alignment. Every one of these extreme thoughts or imbalanced thoughts are in your mind. You can't stop it. And you we can't even, like there's endless of records of that thought. I can go even finer. Like the Christian God says, I can go even more. I can't finish it. So all these evil thoughts, those are evil thoughts, guys. Uh, unwholesome thoughts, all right? Evil means it's not um, in the right direction. Um, it's too extreme. It not necessarily mean bad. It means not in the right direction, not, not balanced. It's too extreme, too one-sided. We're talking about middle path in Buddhism. Gu jie yu zhong. And those things already accumulated, and the gods have already looked on this case of yours a lot of times, many times. We've written so much of your past doings. They're telling them the inner workings now. This is what we did. You want appeal? This is what we did. This is what you have. This is your record. And the heaven has already followed this record of yours, and according to the law of cause and effect, giving you all this punishment. You cannot, not only that, you will get, I mean, not only you won't get any good bad, uh, good karma of your so-called kindness, your punishment will keep coming even more. Ah. Jun tao huo bu xia he yu qi fu zai. So this can apply to myself or ourselves. You can't even escape from more calamities on your way, let alone getting any of the prosperity or omens that we keep saying, because your action is not doing that. And look at our world right now. Isn't that the case, guys? Bushfire, for our case, flood for some people. COVID, non-stop for another three years. And now, a war. So, this is this is why Master Ching Kong trying to push out this kind of education of cause and effect. Because there's no other way. You can't even use this way or anymore. Effectively, you will need this way, but we have to use this kind of heavy dose of uh, wake up call to the world to talk to the world because the world, the whole world is not just us, the whole world needs to know. And this is the only way, this is what happened. This is the disease, the disasters. And what do we do about it? We just keep talking about, oh, this is just some natural disaster, nothing to do with the back. And just another plane fall down in the middle of nowhere in China. These people just gone. And more will come. There's a lot of predictions. 2025, there will be a there will be a flood in between Taiwan, Japan, and Philippines. And I believe that it will happen because that person already has a lot of cases predicted to be true. I'm not even surprised. I'm looking at everything we learn, those things are happening now. Why am I doubting something like this will happen? 
the level of the level that affects the whole East Asia Pacific area. So what I'm trying to say is, um, the only we only have one way to get out right now, and going to pure land means chanting Amitabha, not by mouth, by re really talking to yourself. Like, like, are you aware of this? Now you may be good, your job, your everything might be upwards, but but are you sure it will last, or are you sure this so-called illusions of peace? as you can see from Ukraine, illusion of safety, as you can see in COVID. Everything goes well in 20, before that happened, or seems going well, and this had hits and it tested everyone. So all these things are reminding us, ju an si wei, when you're living comfortably, living in a condition of not having any lacking, please remember, prepare for the dangers. Only when you have that sense of threat and dangers in your heart, I'm not telling you to be fearful and jump around, but I'm telling myself, and every, uh, hopefully it transmits to everyone, is to be aware, to have a healthy amount of fear, because we we are we are living on that on that shaky foundation of this world. Anything can happen to you, to your family. Already we have like two. I have like two family members passed away. Obviously, one of them is giving maybe due to COVID or natural cause. So these are happening around us. Am I still blinding myself or drowning ourselves in so-called illusions? Yes. So what can we do? Chanting Amitabha. Um, uh, well, I'll stop here. Just uh, just a ending phrase is those things that we're trying to learn. Uh, it's not for, for, for words on paper or anything. They are trying to give us a sense of awareness. And this is strong, especially stronger in face of what's happening right now. We cannot afford to have that happen to us and not prepared. One time, all it takes is one time. It does not take two or three. And I already have been blessed, maybe of my past come, many times transgression of being, maybe this just saving for later, it will come out and collect me. In my case, I'm, I'm using a very sharp term. I'm gonna get clean up. What I'm trying to say is, we can't afford to have that one thing, one time happen on us. One is all it takes. You may escape millions and millions of calamities or it just pass by you. But one time, all it takes is one time. So what can we do against that one opportunity of disaster on you and your family? Is Cultivation, the solid foundation of cultivation is to have a heart of sincerity. With sincerity, Master Jin Kong say you will be able to be pure, zhen chen qing jing, and then you'll be able to balance, ping de, and then you will be able to have awakening. If not big awakening, small awakening. Accumulate all the small awakening, you will become big awakening. And accumulate the big awakening, in the end, you will be fully en uh, enlightened like a Zen master. Those are all very practical stuff. They are not bungo ooga boogo in some faraway land. We have lost ourselves in in this uh, sensories, pleasures, and all that. So it's time to go back, go back to the most foundation part: virtues, purity. All this can be compressed into Amitabha, and that's the meaning of Amitabha. If we don't understand, if we don't have that meaning of Amitabha, taste, but we can, if we can't taste the meaning of Amitofo. I'm using a very concrete word. You, if you can't taste that, what is Amitofo? You just simply Amitofo, Amitofo, Amitofo. That's good, but it's only practice. For it to have effect, you need to actually taste Amitofo and you need help of the teachings. Unless you are very concentrated, you're able to use Amitofo in all conditions. And as long as you're not using your mind to think about your work or your duties, you use, you're able to use Amitofo all the time, then you don't need all these teachings because you're already there. You're concentrating on one point. However, the reality is myself, using my experience, it might not be applied to everyone. All of you might already have that level way above me. What I'm trying to say is the reality is we have so much rubbish in there. Sometimes you're just not finding any gap to put Amitofo in there. And once you understand the teaching here, 
you will have a very healthy amount of fear. That one time is all it takes for you to fall into three lower rims. That means you pass away, you fall. You can't bring up the army tofu. You're used to all this rubbish. You're used to all this uh, lust and all that kind of thoughts. And this scenery will appear before you die or appear at the time of your emergency instead of Bodhisattva Kuan Yin, instead of Buddha Amitabha. Or even Shayamuni Buddha. If you can think of them, you, you might still have hope. But if you can't think of them, you will follow whatever the heaviest karma you have accumulated. This is the, this is the conclusion what we're trying to say. To have a good, bright future, we need to have understanding. We need to have deep understanding of ourselves. Only then we can find our way to get out. And we see ourselves, we are actually building ourselves properly, uh, proper foundation. So cause and effect is our only means of communication to ourselves, to our community, to the world. Then we can talk about morals and virtues, which is a beautiful um, add-on. Because cause and effect makes you do not fear, you do not dare to do anything. Once you understand that very dangerous and things, what you what should you do? Use the morality and virtues. Lundi. What should I do? I fulfill my duty, be, be respectful to parents, cherish them. Only then those, those are the bonus point. What we're talking about right now is preventing the negative point from getting more negative. That's why we have reform, then we talk about merits, then combo. Right now we don't even have, yes. But we need to get started, so. There's a lot of work to be done, my friend. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. Thank you so much for listening to this 27-year-old um, mumbling like a old person, but um, good luck.